Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to model design strips for one-way concrete slab. In this particular video, we're going to be focusing on modeling the design strips in the latitude direction. This would be the direction parallel to the global x-axis. Now before we get started, let's go ahead and review our sample model again. Here you can see I have the mesh input plan open and I can see that this concrete slab will behave as a one-way concrete slab. It has a column line along the center and the edges and then it's being supported in that direction by concrete beams that protrude down from the bottom of the slab. If I wanted to take a look at the perspective plan, I'd be able to see this system in three dimensions. So let's go ahead and navigate to our latitude design strip layer. Now the first step in modeling design spans is to specify your span properties. To do that, I will go over to my layer specific toolbar and double click on the span segment icon. Let's start with the general tab. For this exercise, I am going to be creating design spans in the latitude direction, and I do plan on designing this system as a traditionally reinforced concrete slab and beam system. I will not be considering any post tensioning in this system. Next, let's go to the strip generation area. I'm going to specify the span width cal calculation as automatic and my column strip width as full width. Next, let's go to the column strip area and we're going to enter our trimming information. Here I'm going to enter a slab rectangle option and my bar information. For the torsional design system, I will set this as none. And for the design system, I will go with a one-way slab. Now, since this system is being designed as a full width column strip, you can see that here, I can go ahead and skip the middle strip tab. Lastly, let's go to the live load reduction information, and we could review this and make any changes. At this point, let's go ahead and click OK and our default span properties have been created. Now for this particular video, we're going to be focusing on modeling our design spans along our column lines. To do that, we will go up to our standard toolbar and click on the generate spans icon. We will ask the program to generate spans in the latitude direction parallel to the global x-axis. Now at this point we have generated all of our design spans along our column lines for this particular system. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.